Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Today, I'm going to show you just a quick overview of Omnisphere 2. I'm just going to place one of my own samples in there, which uh, for me makes Omnisphere probably the best VST instrument on the market, bar none. It's always been big, it's always been one of my favourites, and now it's just taken on a whole new level. So, here we go. Here's Omnisphere. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to import a user audio file. You can see here I've already put um, source from a JP8000, an odd lead, supernova, a virus. And I'm going to put a SID station sample in now. So let me just drag this sample in. And there you go. That's just... So I've obviously got Unison turned on there. Let me turn that off. So that's the basic sample. No different to any other oscillator or uh, sample you've heard before. But the beauty of Omnisphere, now we can turn it into just a massive, massive sound. So first thing I like to do, obviously, unison makes it huge. So that's it to start with. Let's add a bit more depth. Bit of spread and start detuning it. Obviously, extremes. Also, let's put a bit of wave shaping on, a uh, bit crusher mainly, and a bit of reducer. So, let me just turn them off for now. Turn it on. Obviously down to extremes so you can hear everything that's going on. But I, again, you can see just from where we started to where we are now, it's already huge. Um, and then we could go in, do our normal things, like adjust the amp envelope. And let's put a filter on it. Let's put a low pass. That one will do. And envelope. Let's adjust our filter envelope. can see straight away it's just the possibilities are endless I mean we've not done anything other than literally put one sample in there adjusted the amp envelope and filter envelope a little bit bit of unison on it bit a bit crushing and from where we started off to it's a completely different sound Obviously, you spend a bit more time, you put modulation on there, you might modulate the pitch a little bit with an LF4, or modulate panning, you know, mod modulate the filter or the resonance. The, the results just are stunning, to be honest. Omnisphere was always one of my favourite VSTs, uh, but now, being able to import your own samples, I've obviously got quite a few samples, thanks to one of my groups on Facebook, um, Synthesizer Addicts where one of the users basically put a load of samples up there for us all to share. In fact, there's a couple of people. So we've got a JP8000, Korg MS2000, Nord Lead 3, SID Station, Supernova, plenty to be uh, to be going at. And of course, there's hundreds of things you can use. You can use your existing tracks or samples that you already have. Limitless really is. The possibilities are absolutely endless. And that's 
literally touching on a couple of tabs you know i haven't gone into the orb i haven't gone into the effects section or the arpeggiator section um let alone all the different modulation uh matrices you can do so look at the matrix there you can modulate from anything from lf 1 to um where's the filter filter cut off there you go it's already a different patch so absolutely chuffed to bits with omnisphere 2 and yeah i recommend if you're going to buy one vst instrument omnisphere 2 will be useful for every single you know genre pretty much as well as everything from effects bases leads sims you know you name it it does it so yeah there you go another quick tutorial from me until next time bye bye